Hello, hello. We are back two days in a row. I don't think I've uploaded two YouTube videos in a row in a really long time, but it is one of my favorite times of year. So if you didn't know already, the Nordstrom anniversary sale opened to all card holders today. So if you do not have a Nordstrom credit card, it will open for you on August 19th, I believe. So coming up really quick as well, and um, that is next week but um, I have been waiting super long, I feel like, because depending on how much you spend on your card, I think some people started shopping August 4th, so I was super excited to get to go and shop today, so I thought I would share everything that I got with you. As of right now, I've been feverishly checking links to make sure things are still in stock before I put them in the video. As of right now, everything I'm sharing has pretty good stock and most sizes are stocked. That may change over the course of the night and into tomorrow, into the weekend, I don't know. So if you see anything that you love and you do have the credit card, go ahead and snag it now. If not, um, I will keep an eye on restocks for you and you can wish list things as well and kind of keep an eye out for restocks too. So let's go ahead and get started. Everything is shoppable in the description, just like normal. So if you're on your phone, it is that small triangle to the right of the video. Click that and it'll bring a drop down menu with all of the links there. Okay, in no particular order of favorite because I truly loved every single thing that I got, starting with these wedge sneakers that I think are so much fun. I have gotten a pair of these the last couple of years in the Nordstrom sale but this is the first year I've ever gotten leopard. And so of course, these are right up my alley. I think they are so unique and fun. Sizes are still stocked as of this exact minute fully in the leopard. They also come in, I think a plain black and a plain gray. If you don't like the leopard, I know it's a little bit loud, but I love these with jeans for fall. It's just kind of a fun way to still have the comfort of a sneaker, but be a little bit more dressed up than just like, your basketball sneaker or something that you'd wear to the gym. So I love them with the jeans and leggings and I think these are super comfy too. And I got my normal size seven. You might hear me say, sometimes I wear six and a half, sometimes I wear seven, but typically in like athletic shoes or boots, I will wear a seven. So if I say seven in this video, um, for purposes of this, that is my true size as far as these shoes go. So should be good getting your true size in this one. And then I paired that with this this was one of my favorite cardigan purchases. I kind of steer clear of any like tighter dresses, tops, and any pants in any capacity because honestly, pants right now are really hard for me anyways to figure out what I'm wearing. And actually, the jeans that I'm wearing with this outfit and the next outfit, I am not super cracked about their maternity and I just wore them for our shopping trip today because I didn't want to mess with wearing my regular jeans that felt super tight, but they're a little big and so if they look a little baggy and kind of funky, that is what's going on with those jeans. So I mostly stuck to shoes, sweaters, outerwear, things that I feel like I can wear even as the bump grows and also those just, I, those are just my favorite things to buy anyway in the Nordstrom sale. But this is a wonderfully oversized cardigan. Now this runs really, really big. So I actually got the extra small in this one and it's still plenty big. So I would say probably definitely size down and for sure if you're between sizes, size down in this one. But I love how long it is, how cozy it is. I think it's gonna be really good with leggings. It's gonna cover your booty if you wear like a longer shirt with leggings. And then with these in the fall, I think it's gonna be a good comfy go-to outfit. And this one comes in lots of color options too. Okay, these are a couple of my most affordable pieces that I found. And really, I think everything I found was mostly in the like 40 to $50 range with the exception of a couple pairs of boots. But this little top is only $15 in the sale and it is so soft. It's kind of hard for me to describe the fabric to you, but it kind of feels like a microfiber. It's just super soft and it's also very, very stretchy. So even though I got the small in this one, this one works really well with the bump. It's gonna grow with me and it comes down a little bit longer too. This one also comes in a leopard. And then this cardigan is in the 30-ish dollar range, I believe. And I love the color of this. This is another one that's really, really soft. It's just a good classic duster cardigan. This is very high quality. It will last you a really long time. And this comes in lots and lots of colors as well. This is the blush and I think it's beautiful. 
Then these were my number one pick on my wish list. I was so nervous that these were gonna sell out. They did actually sell out, but they fully restocked them. So as of right now, these are fully stocked in all sizes. They will hopefully restock them again if they sell out again before public access. So um, I feel pretty confidently since these are such a top seller, but these are just the perfect nude booty. I have needed a new pair of these for such a long time. These are a suede. Steve Madden, really good quality. I love the notch in them. I think they're really flattering on with jeans and leggings and um, they're pretty comfortable because they have the big like block heel as well. So pretty comfortable to walk in. I got my normal size seven in these and they're perfect and they also come in a super cute snake skin too. This is one of the more casual pieces and I'm really excited about this. This is like a flannel shirt jacket. So it's a shirt, but it's thick enough that you can wear it as a jacket in the fall too. It's really oversized. So this is the small and it runs plenty big. I wanted it to fit nice and oversized, kind of like a jacket, but if you want a slimmer fit, you might want to size down in this one. And it also comes in like a berry kind of plum plaid color too. And then I also grabbed this little tunic top. This is just a simple, super simple top, but I thought it was gonna be perfect for growing with the bump. It's really stretchy, very comfy, and mainly I love these because they come down long enough that you can wear them with leggings. So they cover your booty. This one comes in lots of colors too, and it's just a super simple black top, and I had the small in this one. Okay guys, I did not this was not on my wish list. I did not go in looking for this, but for some reason, this wild jacket caught my eye and I just couldn't resist. And also the price is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It's Blank NYC, which is a really nice brand. And I just knew this was gonna be like $200 or something. And I think it's 60 something in this sale. So it's hard to explain. It looks like it's gonna be like a vinyl-y, like crackly type of material but it's actually like a faux suede. So it's like a thick, it's really malleable and nice, and it feels super high quality when it's on. So I don't know, I, it's kind of wild, it's kind of crazy, but I thought having the bump, I wanted something that I could throw on over just like a ribbed dress or a simple pair of black jeans and a black top like I was wearing it with and have a real statement piece. And this was, I felt like something that I could grow with because it's easy like flow away. It's not going to have any, I'm not gonna have any problems wearing this even as the bump grows. So I just thought it was a really fun piece for fall. I know this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I really loved it and I got my normal size small in this. More sweaters and more boots because what is the Nordstrom sale good for if it's not sweaters and boots? That's all I ever buy in the Nordstrom sale, I feel like, and I have no regrets every year. But this is a Madewell sweater and this one is so much fun. I love the colors in this. These are colors I probably wouldn't have chosen to put together, but I love them. They give such a fall vibe that I just feel like is really unique. And also, um, this is that Kent cardigan style from Madewell which if you've never tried this on before, it's a really soft, really high quality cardigan. So just putting it on, I feel like, I don't know, the, the quality difference between the cardigans in the Nordstrom sale versus some of the like more budget friendly places that I like to shop a lot, it is, they're a lot softer and I feel like they're gonna last longer. So if you have any like splurge pieces, this is when I make my investment pieces that I plan on wearing over and over and over all fall and winter, if that helps you. But I have the small in this one. And then also, last year, I finally wisened up and bought my Uggs in the Nordstrom sale, instead of trying to wait and get some with Christmas money at full price. And that was one of the best decisions I ever made as far as investing when things are on sale. I know it feels so weird to be buying fur boots in August when it's super hot out, but I'm telling you, I was so glad to have these when November and December rolled around. And I, unfortunately, I spilled something all over my old ones that I got last year, so I needed a new pair. But these are really fun because they have a little wedge on them. So they're kind of different and they're super cute with leggings too. I didn't bring any leggings here to try on for you, but they're just really cute with leggings. And I think they're cute with jeans too. And I like that they're still short booty. This part is a little bit looser and I got my normal size small in these. They're or normal size seven in these and they're very comfy too. 
Couple more pairs of shoes. This is the only non-boot I think that I got other than the wedge sneakers, which are almost like a boot. So these are a little Steve Madden mule. These have been going out of stock, in and out of stock super quickly. So they come in a lot of other color options. As of right now, the white is pretty well stocked which is the ones that I wanted anyway. So I was excited about that. But if you love these, definitely scoop these up. And I will also tell you these run super small. So I got my, I got a seven and a half in this one. Now normally I wear somewhere between six and a half to a seven. Typically in a mule, I would do a seven for a little extra room anyways, but I needed a seven and a half. So I think it even says online, size up a half size. But if you're between sizes, I would probably size up a whole size in these. And then this is actually from last year, but this is my Barefoot Dreams cardigan from last year. They brought them back in the sale again this year, and this is another item that has been a very hot seller. Um, this particular style I think is, I don't know, a little iffy on stock. They have a lot of the like circle cardigans, so they just kind of have a different front to them. But last year I was doing what I did this year and picking out all kinds of different cardigans and sweaters. And then I tried this one on accidentally, like I didn't even know what it was. I <laughs> just grabbed it. And then I didn't buy any other cardigans last year. I only bought this one and I have not regretted it a single time. These are expensive. They are a pricey item. It's a splurge piece, but even in a sale, but it's the best time to get them because they are they don't go on sale very often, and I wear this every single day around the house. Like, there's just no beating the fabric. It's like a microfiber or something. I don't even know what it's made out of, but it is pure heaven. So if you've never tried one of these out, they are fantastic, they are worth the money, and they make great gift options too. All right, we're to the end of my haul. I'm like so tired. We've been shopping today and shooting this video today, so I can't wait to take a nap after this. But this was the other thing on, so I had the nude booties and this pair of boots that were like, if I get nothing else, I'm super happy as long as I get these two things. I have wanted a pair of tall tan boots for the longest time. I borrowed my mom's all year last year. If you saw me wearing some in videos or on the feed, those are my mom's. And these are perfection. They're comfortable. They fit my calf just right. They're not too loose. They give the look of like a slouchy booty, but they don't come down at all when you walk. They're tight enough on the calf that they will stay up. And they're block heel. They're just every single thing that I wanted. Really good quality. And I got my normal size seven in these. And then last but not least is this jacket that I'm wearing. They brought this back too. This is another bestseller from last year that I've worn a ton. It's a knit blazer, so it's really, really comfortable. You can do it for workwear. I do it just with t-shirt dresses um, and kind of more casual stuff too, but tons of ways to style this, and they have it in lots of colors, and I have my normal size small in this one too. That's a wrap on our Nordstrom haul. Thank you so much for watching with me today. I know these items are probably a little pricier than some that I might typically showcase, but this is my one time of year that I stock up on my good quality investment pieces that I'm gonna wear over and over and over all season and for years to come. So hopefully there's a little something for everyone in here. Make sure to check out the links if you want to. They're all in the description and we'll see you next time.